back to the Fly Fishing Podcast. I want to show you how to tie my uh, foam Hawthorn fly. It's a new fly for me this year. It involves using a, a doubling needle um, or one of these extended body uh, needles and uh, a little bit of uh, foam which is about a centimetre long. I fold that in two over the over the point of that hook like so. It doesn't matter if it's not quite in two. Actually that's an advantage when we come to to tie it onto the hook. We're going to try and taper that end. So we wrap our black tying thread along and then we try and take out those lumps. So we're tapering the body. We're just kind of starting to make an extended body for a whole form. I'm just going to put a whip finish there very, very quickly. Tie that off. Well, there we go. We've got our extended body is made. I'm just going to take that off. So what I've done is I've taken that foam body and whipped it onto the top, uh, the top of the hook, which is a lightning strike, a merger hook, a scud merger, size 16 hook, uh, very good hooks, particularly like them, um, the retail by Waspy and worth getting hold of. So that extended body will give a bit of flotation and we want to take a little bit of black dubbing just to equal over sync up and we're going to take it towards the eye and when we get to the eye the other thing we want to do is build up a bit of a lump at the head And I also want it to be a little bit scruffy, which imitates the actual legs of the, the Hawthorne fly. Now we can either use a white or grey polypropylene for this. The actual Hawthorne fly, the, the wings are uh, a clear or grey colour. Um, but I found actually using a white polypropylene very very helpful in terms of seeing the fly. You don't want too much. This is definitely a situation where more is less. Just whip down the wing on the top of the fly. That can be doubled over if you want to. It does give a, a little bit more flotation and it also gives you a nice sighting for the fly. The thing about Hawthorne flies is the time of year they're actually coming off you tend to get um, a lot of bubbles on top of the water, a lot of blossom as well from the Hawthorne bushes and that those all tend to be a bit white. Now what I'm doing here is I'm adding a bit more dubbing so we've got a very very pronounced head. I want to take to that uh, a dubbing brush and brush it back just so we scrub out the dubbing and that gives the impression of trailing legs. And from there, this very, very simple thing is just a whip finish this hook. And the fly's finished. I usually give three quick whips or half hitches. Always feel free is far more secure. I don't tend to varnish my hooks. I might put a bit of wax on there, but quite frankly, After 
15, 20 trout on a particular pattern. The pattern's fallen ahead apart before the actual flies come undone, so it's well worth just not varnishing things, it's a bit quicker and an out fishing a bit a bit faster if I do that. Give that a whirl. Um, this year olives emerges, hawthorns have been the predominant flies. I've seen a few mayflies coming off and we're talking about sort of the 18th, 19th of May now. Um, if things warm up a bit more we'll get a few more mayflies um, but what's predominantly catching the, the fishes are at the moment are hawthorns or olive emerges still. Given the world, fish are starting to, to rise a bit more at this time of year and these are good stock patterns. You'd be able to fish this um, year in, year out and throughout the season that will come up for this fly. Anyway, tune in again to Fly Fishing Podcast and um, I'll keep you updated with how things are going. Tight lines now. <laughs>